This video is to go over lesson 4.15 on review packet 4D. Number 5. Plot each data set. Is there a linear trend to the data? So you just plot these points. Um, these input is the x value and output is y value and these are the coordinate pair and plot the points and if it comes out linear, it is, uh, it's linear, right? Next page is the same problem. Different and Problem number six, you find the balance points. Again, balance points, we have x bar and y bar. Um, that's pretty. Um, um, that's just, you add all the numbers together and divide by it. So this is just the mean of x value. So add all together, add um, data set A of the x value of data set A and uh, find out the, the average and that's going to be the, the x bar and y bar you do the same thing and then that's going to be your balance points that's pretty easy and don't forget to plot it along with the data okay and so you have A, B, C, D and problem number seven for each uh, table with the linear trend in exercise 5, es uh, estimate the slope of the trend. Use the balance point you find in exercise 6 to write a trend uh, line equation. Write to uh, graph each trend line on the same plot. Plots as your data. So what you can do is you can first plot the balance point, which is x bar, y bar. Okay, so that you can use this as an equation, y minus y bar x bar equals m times x minus x bar. Okay, whatever the value you get here, you can plug in there. You, whatever the value you plug in there. So all we have to do to write an equation, as it says here, is to find a, <coughs> a slope. So you plot the rest of the, the data of table A, and then plot all the points, and you kind of estimate the steepness. Maybe if... Um, uh, uh, balance point is somewhere over here, for example, this is not what it is, um, then you can draw probably the line. If, if the, the line fits like that, then you can kind of estimate the slope. You know, if it goes 45 degrees up, that's y equals x. So that's the slope. If it goes one up and two over, kind of, you know, estimate, then the, the slope will be uh, two, right? And if it's a little bit less steep like that, then it will be a fraction, 1 over 2 or 1 over 3, uh, things like that. Okay, so so this part is pretty easy because you already got it from here, this part and this part. All you have to find is the slope. Again, you plot all those five points from that that you get from A. That's the same problem as, same, same thing as uh, problem number five. And then you kind of draw a line and uh, estimate it, estimate the slope, and you plug that in here, okay? So that's that. Uh, next problem says they, uh, these, are, uh, these data follow a somewhat linear trend. Plot the points, okay? So make sure you answer all parts of the question. Plot the points, that's the first part. And second person, then graph each line below on the same uh, axis. And then you answer the final question, which line do you think uh, fits the data the best? Okay, so first thing you're going to do is plot these points. Graph, graph each line below on the, so graph each line. Make sure you graph each line here, uh, right here. And then, uh, which one do you think the best? Okay. And the final problem is, oops, right here. Uh, this table shows the analysis of the line with the, the equation y equals x plus 1 from exercise 8. So here's the input. Here's the input, here's the actual, here's the predicted y equals x plus 1, and here's the error. What do the negative value in the error column suggest about 
the line as the line of best fit. So if the point is right here and line is like that, then that's going to be negative, right? If a point is actual point is right here and the line of best fit is like that, the arrow will be positive. So the negative means that um, the point is below the line of best fit. I want you to write that in, in your own words um, for your answer because that's your answer, not mine. Uh, problem B, perform the same analysis for the, uh, the other line in exercise 8. Which line uh, has the fewest error? Which line has the smallest error? So going back to the other, the, the other problem and do the same thing as you do right here. You know, it says data versus line fit. Okay, do the same analysis. And which line has the smallest error? Obviously, smallest, smallest error, errors. The line with the small smallest errors um, has the best um, is that is the best fit. Okay, so that's the end.